Well, throughout the story of my life, I've had you know different dreams at different stages. And uh, for me, growing up, I was a preacher's kid, and uh, my dad just has this love for sports, which was passed on to me. And so, you know, growing up, you know, the number one thing on my priority list was was sports. And I was in the gym playing basketball. I was out on the field playing football and baseball nonstop. That was that's what I loved, you know. Uh, and so people are always surprised. They say, well, it wasn't music first. I said, no, it wasn't music first. I loved music, but it was all about sports. And going on through high school, I grew up in the Chicago suburbs, and I was a first baseman, left-handed, and I was having some really good seasons as a high school student. And uh, I remember the Chicago newspaper there, the Sun-Times, had listed an article kind of listing the top college prospects at each position, and I was the number one college prospect for first baseman. And uh, that, to me, was my ticket punched, you know. So, so my, my teachers, I remember my senior year, my teachers in my classes were like, how come you're not doing your work? And I was like, I push over that article in the Sun-Times, said, that's how come I'm not doing my work? I'm gonna go play for the Cubs. And uh, you know, it turns out I couldn't hit a curveball. Turns out there were college scouts coming to our games. They weren't looking at me though. I thought they were looking at me. They were looking at my buddy who got drafted, the center fielder. And uh, that's when I began to turn my attention towards a new passion, which was music. And you know, that's when I began to step into my sweet spot. It wasn't about sports at all. So uh, you know, th that was um, the beginning of a series of things that I would call like the best worst thing. That's how I've always described it. It's sometimes the, the worst things that happen to you in your life um, really are the best things that happen to you because God uses it to redirect your passion, redirect your attention, and to really remind us that His dream for us is bigger than our plan. Sometimes finding home isn't always a direct path. Visit FocusOnTheFamily.com slash thrive. That's FocusOnTheFamily.com slash thrive. Yeah.